What are you moaning about? Yeah. Yeah, fuck off, you fucking vegan. <laughs> you're vegan? <laughs> you're a vegan though, brother. I've seen uh, under your desk at work, you've got a load of fucking, like, oat milk. That doesn't make you a vegan yeah? if you like oat milk. Yeah, yeah, that's you. You're an oat milk vegan. So look, you got no comeback for that, you know it's true. No, it's not vegan, is it oat milk? It is a, well, it is a vegan option, isn't it? No. This is. Yeah, it's not. Stones at his window, I, used have, this I used to have soya milk because I didn't like uh, normal milk, but then oat milk came out and it's better, isn't it? Because you're a vegan. Fucking <laughs> vegan, my You're fuming. Look, you've just realised you're a vegan. <laughs> my goggles are just steamed up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How are you, mate? You bought me here, what are you saying? Got a full gang. Full gang. Full gang. You're about to get trimmed up. You are. About to get trimmed up by a load of herders. By a load of herders. The Italian stallion. He's not an Italian stallion anymore, mate. Is he not? He's all loved up, isn't he? What, what's going on? Is he in Croydon? Is he the fucking... <laughs> loved up in Croydon? Bad yeah. boy from Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I've just done a couple of laps and um, Barry thought he'd test me. So I went to do the big double and um, the old throttle went around on its own. Oh, all right. <laughs> it, it, you didn't put it on properly, Baz? No, no, I think it was a um, sec second-hand grip and it was a bit baggy. I think it had on his penis. Yeah. Well, that yeah. definitely wouldn't have been baggy. Oh, <laughs> what are you saying? It's oversized then, mate. Vegan, Go vegan. fat bar option. <laughs> Fucking like a vegan option. Vegan option. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway. Well, you told me you were getting your kit on this weekend. So well, I'm planning to. Is I someone going to film that? No. Nah. Because I'm not about and nah. someone needs to film nah. that. I'll get a chip in it. You go to them. <laughs> no, no, now you're volunteering. Well, I thought you weren't going. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to wear my high vis hoodie. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be fun to well, see. Well, you're wearing that. leathers. Leathers? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to have the old udders at the front of it, wasn't it? <laughs> 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 good to go? Good you to go. fucking arsehole. <laughs> <asshole. laughs> get out there, you mug. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you been, Evo? Wait, Mark, will you give it, just give it five minutes? Be normal. Yeah, you're you're relaxing. Huh? You're all loved up, son? Yes. You used to be a bit of a stallion, I used to admire you, you know, and now you've gone no, you're just uh, quipped. I have uh, only one uh, girl jump on me, so I need to be strong. Poor for performance, one. poor performance, bro. Get out of there. Time off, son. But I'm coming, uh, coming back Sunday. Yeah, a little bit of time off. You're going partying, something like that. It's something like that. <laughs> okay, so what are you saying, son? There you go. You've done a session. Yeah, usual story. A little bit out of breath and all that, but um, it's the first time I've really um, rode this bike in vain around here. 
and you it say actually, in vain? It, well, like, got stuck in, you know? In vain? In vain, sorry. God, yeah. I'm not allowed to say that. I rode my bike in vain. In vain. That was terrible. Fuck off. <laughs> um, it just, it, yeah, it's, um... It was, uh, I've still got the original tyre on, and I feel like I can actually feel it not gripping, you know, like I normally run a paddle tyre here. Oh, well, yeah. Um, but the power is nice that I can just hold it pretty much flat out and not get too wild. Um, but it feels quite small. The bike feels small. I don't know whether that's because I'm not moving around lump, much. Bro. Huh? You're a lump, isn't you? Yeah, I don't know. But um, that's quite, it, yeah, it's quite a nice place to be then, to be fair. So we'll see, I might loosen up a bit now and... The trousers falling down. The trousers are falling down a bit, so I guess that's a good sign, isn't it, Mark? What's that, mate? If my trousers are falling down, that's a good sign, isn't it? I think so, yeah. <laughs> It must be shedding a few pounds. The, the big diet started last week at 92 kg. <laughs> 92 with nothing on. Naked. Naked. I'd like to say I'm all dick and ribs, but it's fucking the opposite. Uh, that's Mark. <laughs> yeah, that's Mark. Uh, all collarbones. All collarbones and ribs, yeah. <laughs> How are you? How are you, mate? This is your being interviewed. How are you? Good. Testing, testing new suspension. God. From Mark is good. It's good. God, you're being boring today. Uh, it used to be exciting. You know, I used no, to be you excited. Know what is to talk nice? to you. And I'm happy that is the first good day in England after one month. Oh, what, it's sunshine. Of the oh my God. The we're not, we're not built for it. Look, you see, look, me and him, yeah. He got a big old ginger beard. I got a big old ginger beard. Oh, you look good. Huh? I don't know about that. Don't know about that, son. Not built for this shit, though. It's too hot, isn't it? You know it's too hot. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Need to put some fat for the cold. Huh? You do? <laughs> nah, mate. In this sort of weather, I should be on a like on a beach, like on a big rock, like a seal. Nah, still cold. It's 20 degrees. Keep calm. Keep calm. <laughs> Still in England. God, <laughs> you need to cheer up, man. Why are you being so boring? I'm not boring. I'm so happy. You used to be exciting. I, I get God. stress in my life. You got you got stress, have you? Is that your new bird? Uh, no, no, no. I'm walking it's off this way. See you later. See you later. Like See you later. Like <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Focus on the bike and just listen to me instead of filming me. <laughs> We're gonna do because it's a wide angle, mate. This, this oh yeah, but it's a wide angle. Like you can it's still see. You can, you it's do, a wide, you wide angle. Wide angle. 
Put um, a t-shirt on, bruv. Why? Huh? Why are you so obsessed with a fucking t-shirt? You're just you chubby? walking around with your penis out and that. With your harambe on your fucking dick. Harambe. Yeah, do you want to put it in the trap? Yeah, I will. Good old boy. <laughs> Good old boy. <laughs> right. Okay, are you, should we start from the front to the back? Well, we have, how, how would you normally start out, Here we have the standard Dunlop front tyre still intact after 10 hours. 10.4 hours to be exact of riding. It's in perfect condition. Fantastic tyre. Couldn't recommend it anymore. Um, K Tech have done their full, they put their full system in here. Link below is what I would say because I haven't got a fucking clue what they've actually done. But it's the so I've got to find a link somewhere. Yeah, Jake will send you that. Okay. <laughs> that handy. Turn that off. Can you still hear me or not? Well, it'd be better with it up. Turn it off. How do we turn that off? I don't know how to turn it I'll come closer. <laughs> now, can you hear me? <laughs> so, yeah, we'll talk about that, but. Basically, on a Honda, I always used to run my forks on that line there where it goes to a different colour. But this bike, the frame is like a real, we've heard me talk about it quite a bit, but it's quite a weird, it's quite a stiff chassis, especially on the back end. So I've actually, I'd never normally run my suspension like that around here, but I'm actually putting them through to get it to turn and to get it more balanced. Um, and I've changed my bars too, so normally I'm a Honda bend, Honda, standard Honda bend, which I think is, I actually can't remember, standard Honda bend, but these are 827, which are like lower, and a bit straighter, I believe, because I just felt like I was like that, really high front, so that's strange. So anyone that's getting one of these, if they feel high at the front, don't be afraid to change the bars slightly and get a lower bend, because I've had to do that, and I haven't changed bar bend for years since like 2014 so yeah that's worth trying um, but yeah the front end has been a bit strange because it's just basically always felt really out and really quick so putting the forks through I've changed around quite a bit with the settings I'll probably get Barry to check the settings and then write them in the description as well so you got an idea of what they are um, what it's on from there, all I've done is change the seat cover because the standard seat cover is like sitting on a bit of ice. It's horrendous. So this moto seat is the tits. Um, yeah, it stops your fa it rips your trousers off though. Fucking ass crack. Well, that's because you lost me. a lot of weight, mate. That's well, what yeah, that you is. Well, yeah, you know, I'm uh, wasting away over here, so um, my trousers are sliding down. Obviously, they've done a bladder conversion on the shock, changed the spring, a couple of bits and pieces like that. Again, we'll put the settings in the description, but. I've messed around with it quite a lot. I'm running 104 mil sag, um, and uh, oh, cheers. <laughs> That'll help. <laughs> um, that's for you, Mark, not for me, for you. I will have one of them. Um, <laughs> but this, the back end of this bike is tricky. It's really, really stiff. Um, so I think it's an amazing bike for the average rider. Like, uh, but when you start pushing it, and push, you know, pushing the bike to the limits a little bit is when it starts to do quite strange things. Uh, I've always been quite, I've got quite a lot of feel. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily amazing at setting up a bike, but I've always got good feel. Um, and I feel a lot through my feet. And this bike has been a bit of an obstacle, obstacle for me with the back ends. It's just been really dead, really low. Um, yes, I know I had the issue where I hadn't set the sag, where we hadn't set the sag, so that was a bit deep, but it's a, yeah, it's it's still a little bit strange, but I think I've got it pretty good. Um, but they changed the link um, to bait, to help it be a little bit more responsive. Um, I think Jake has explained that in one of the previous videos of what that does, but basically it's slightly longer link. But the only problem is it, it's then set me in between, the, I think in between settings where I almost need to make a harder shot to suit it. But obviously the harder you go, generally the slower. Uh, things react so yeah I thought I probably need to go a bit uh, harder because if you look underneath I've been I've been um, hitting the mudguard I don't know if you can see it um, no. yeah but yeah everything else is the same um, still got the standard tyre on standard exhaust I mean the power is amazing um, 
for a rider like me that spent ages on a 250 I'm always quite aggressive and quite hard on the clutch and stuff and especially now when I've not been riding much I haven't got much finesse and this bike's so forgiving I can just wind it open clutch it a bit I mean I've done 10.2 hours or four hours on a clutch I'd never do that on a 450 I'd fry it within an hour if I was pushing so um, wicked little bike um, but a very motocrossy, supercrossy bike. I would say definitely not a bike that I would go and do enduros on as well as motocross. If you're just a sole motocross rider, I think it'd be really good. Um, and I'm intrigued to see what the, this, this latest chassis looks like on an enduro bike next year and whether they've changed the chassis or not because it's going to be pretty stiff for an enduro bike, I think. Um, and obviously I can compare this chassis to my Gas Gas 350, which is the old chassis, and it's so much more forgiving than this bike. Um, so um, it's, it's, this, it's the web that the, where the shock tower sits so heavy, so heavy duty, which was obviously designed for Cooper Webb and the boys on the Supercross, but yeah. Um, but I've had some fun on this bike. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get to race it. I wanted to race it the other week at Blacksall, but um, yeah, didn't qualify for that one. wasn't wasn't allowed to enter. Um, so um, so yeah, probably won't end up racing it. But um, yeah, good fun and. Um, Time to put a little bit more, a few more hours in on the Supercross track, ready for the old Arena Cross Fest or whatever it's called, and then um, and then ready for that a bit more of that in January and February, and then maybe a bit more action on the Court Elite next year. Watch this space. <laughs>